as wonderful as it is to be a woman, that time of the month is our least favorite. Oh no, it's back, we think every time. And that's because not only do we have to cope with cramps, bloating, aches, period hormones, discomfort with napkins, mood swings, and not to mention dealing with the mess. I can tell you a whole lot about why menstruation is important and its benefits. But the fact remains, we hate putting up with menstruation. So are we sinning? Are we objecting to the decree of Allah? Those feelings you have, my dear sister, are just natural dislike. It won't harm your iman as long as you submit to the rulings of Islam. Let me give you an example. Allah says, Striving has been enjoined upon you while you hate it. We hate it because it brings difficulty and hardship. And dislike for difficulty and hardship is just human nature. It's just like we dislike making wudu in cold weather. But we accept the ruling and still make wudu for salat. So your natural dislike towards menstruation does not make you a sinner as long as you submit to the laws of Allah. Likewise, a woman's jealousy towards her husband is natural and so she feels uncomfortable with the idea of having co-wives. You cannot tell a woman don't feel jealous over your husband because this is her natural jealousy. The rule is, if a person dislikes something, even though it is prescribed in the Sharia, this does not adversely affect him as long as he does not hate the fact that Allah has prescribed it. There is a clear difference between the two. Dislike for something and hating the fact that Allah has prescribed it. As long as we accept and don't hate the fact that Allah has made it permissible for our husbands to have more than one wife, keeping in mind the various benefits it brings about for other women, this dislike of ours for having co-wives does not affect our iman. What you can do to make your heart be more at ease with such issues is try to understand the various benefits behind these hardships. The more you understand the wisdom of Allah, the stronger your iman and the easier it becomes for your heart to accept it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us amongst those women who are pleased with their Lord and their Lord is pleased with them. Ameen. This clip is first in the series of short video clips, everything you need to know about the rulings of menstruation and how it affects your prayer and fasting. If you liked this video, please share it with your friends and invite them to the Striving Muslimah blog, where we nurture our Islamic identity and build confidence.